Hello everybody and welcome back to Dormitibus. Dormitibus. That is what I'm going to call it from now on. Dormitibus. So, um, we have done five nights out of apparently twelve. Uh, and we're gonna go. We're just gonna go straight into night five. We're gonna find the audio tape and then we're gonna do whatever we need to do. Control W is the only thing you need. Keep looking left and right. How about how about how about Okay. We got this. I'm gonna try and do two nights in this. Alright, so I really need to hurry. They're moving really fast tonight. Uh, you know that new enemy I mentioned? It's me. Well, it's not really me. Uh, to be exact, it's my physical remaining from back in 1993. Uh, yeah, I've been here for a while, if you couldn't guess by my knowledge of these ghosts. Uh, this character is gonna send you a voicemail onto your computer's e phone client. And if you don't delete it fast enough, the computer will autoplay it and probably cause him to find you really quickly. However, the hard thing about this is that deleting these voicemails requires a password. To find the password, switch to the camera that contains the purple curtains. It's camera 4. There's going to be a sign in there once the message reaches you. And this displays the password, which you quickly need to type in. The e-phone autoplay gives you some time, but there's something that doesn't. The reason the curtains are pushed aside is that the character is in there and is going to begin making his way to your office once the message reaches you. If you're in front of the computer or doors in the general area when he reaches your room, you're foxed in there. So be really quick about typing in the password and instantly go to the other side of the room so it doesn't see you when he comes to look for you. And never look into camera 3 when he's out. Okay, now that the important stuff to your survival is out of the way, I'm going to explain my plan. If you've been listening to the tapes you've collected, they include recordings of yourself and your friends, uh, and him as well. Uh, these obviously aren't real recordings, but instead memories of your messed up childhood compressed into physical form. My idea is that collecting all these may allow you and your friends to move on from purgatory and become free ghosts. Uh, basically facing your past would make you get over it, make you uh, find your peace. So, for your sake, find all of them. Thanks. So that's Foxy. So really, can I just like stare at Foxy? Like check all of my directions every now and then and just sit here and chill with Foxy. So he's going to send me a thing. I have to type the longest word in it. I haven't heard any yoy. Stop that. Okay. Jesus. Scared the Jesus out of me, man. Just burn out of nowhere. It's cheap. He's fine. He's still fine. How did I know that you were gonna come? Go away. You're still fine? Yeah. Okay, you're not fine anymore. Change. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna stare at Foxy because I don't. I do not want him to come here. Hi. Go away. Don't like that at all. Come on, change. Okay. 
It's gonna keep Foxy right there. You stay right there. Three. Hi. Joy. Okay. Go, 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 change. Oh god. What? Oh my god. Change. Change. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Totally fine. We got this. It's easy. You want to make it difficult? Go away. As long as he looks normal, I should be fine. Just keep him right there. Just staring right into Foxy's cold, dead eyes. Speaking of cold, dead eyes. <laughs> Stop doing that. Four? Uh-oh. What? 83. Oh god. I'm gonna die from the am I real guy. Hi. Okay, you go away. Oh, I think I just died. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Jesus, man. That's intense. I hate that thing that jump scares you immediately. What is this? Golden Call. Kid's name was Kyle. What the fuck? Still very fast, even though highly broken. This this kid was Dave. I didn't see that. Today was my first big strike at Freddy's. I took five of the kids to the back room and th that's all I had to really do. The doors of the back room is soundproof. So nobody heard them scream in pain as I cut them up with my knife. <laughs> Three years and yet not caught at this rate they'll never find out that it's me okay what the fuck i'm so so we are playing the purple guy where we're playing the OG purple guy. I didn't look at the tutorial. I didn't look at the tutorial. I'm gonna die. I should have looked at the tutorial. Keep looking left and right. Okay, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Right, here we go again. All the characters that might appear to 
take behaviors like the ones I mentioned to you earlier in my call, so uh, it'll be easy for you to figure out how to deal with them by simply looking at what places they appear at. This allows me to focus more on telling you about my plans, so as you might have guessed, there's tapes in my uh, dimension of this place as well. Uh, these contain memories that are obviously based on my past, which, just like yours, is heavily connected to Freddy's. That's why I'm in the same purgatory as you, I suppose. Every story has a beginning and an end. And then there's another part after the end. This little hidden epilogue that nobody expects. That, I wonder that. in this case, is uh, this entire place. Our stories are connected, and so are our lives and death. I tried connecting all my tapes, but I didn't manage to get all of them. I only had one day each. They, uh, they never return. Only once can you find them. The, the rules of this place sure are weird. Uh, these ten knights decide about uh, freedom or purgatory for all of us. John, please, for the love of God, don't mess up like I did. All these poor little children are just trapped in here, roaming as mechanical monsters with, without any choice but to try and kill. It's pretty sad to watch them. But hey, maybe you can put an end to this. Okay. We're fine. Hi, Mr. You. Come on. Change. 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 Okay, we're fine. I don't know if Foxy is enabled or not on this night, but I'm just gonna be very cautious. Just in case. How do you keep. What? Okay, okay, what was, what was it? Seven, eight, eight. Stop changing. The fuck was that? What are you? Go away. Get off my screen. No one's gonna tell me what that thing just was. Crap. Oh God. Stop changing. No, go. Two, two. Oh my God, I gotta change it to two. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Jesus. This guy's just moving all over. No.
Okay. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Don't kill me. Oh my god. Okay, so that works kind of like Chica does. You just have to stare at it. I don't like this. Hi, Chica. Speak of the devil. Six AM, come on. Come on. Okay, good. Come on, baby. I think I made it. Oh my god. I didn't know what to do for that big freaking thing with all the toy animatronics on it. Jesus Christ, man. I just looked to the right. I was kind of expecting that one thing to jump at my face again. I wasn't expecting that. No, don't reset data. Don't reset data. Jesus. Oh my god. So we got Havoc Freddy, Havoc Chica, Havoc Foxy. There's no Havoc Bonnie, which is kind of weird. Havoc Puppet. Golden Call. Am I Real? The Soul Cage. Molten Evil and the BOA. An experimental creation of the puppet that contains five young children in it. But in Five Nights at Freddy's, the toys were there, not as... The toys were there to, like, catch the serial killer. But that doesn't... <laughs> that looks horrifying. And it's got Foxy's hook. Jesus, man. I don't even... I can't even come up with words at this point. Oh. Let's pop this in. I've been snooping around a little bit, and I've heard people complaining about the smell in that place. <laughs> the staff has apparently not even noticed the corpses yet! This is great, really great. Soon, soon they'll find them. Okay. Soon they'll find them. You know, like any sane person says. Let's look at the tutorial. Oh, so we have every... Okay, so let's let's go back over this really quickly. He enters from the left, go to the other side, and he leaves almost immediately. I don't know what to do if he's in the mirror, though. Like, if he's in the mirror, do I run back? Do I stare at him? Running back seems to do the thing, but what if I can't do that all the time? Like, what if he's like, yoy, in the background? So, go to the other side, look at her, and she leaves. So, she comes in from the right, but you run back, and then you look at the left for her. And then you go back to the computer really quickly to avoid the cupcake. Okay. Am I real? He says the things. He's pretty easy. Yeah. Soul Cage, he enters from the right side. He's the one that jumps out at you, I think. Look at the ceiling when you hear him crawl up. So he goes, bah, and then up into the ceiling. On the evil, he appears behind your computer. Look up when you see the blue plasma covering the screen to make him go away. So when he initially appears there, maybe I don't have to do that. But then once I start seeing the blue stuff, I look up. 
When you hear the music box, look at the window behind you and stare. He's still behind it. If you can hear, if you can't see him while the music box is playing, he occasionally hides under the window. I haven't had that happen to me yet. Havoc Foxy, look at him in the cameras and it slows him down, but also make sure to keep your eye on Am I Real? Okay. Golden Call. When you see the passcode window pop up, go to Foxy's camera, which displays a message. Type in the longest word on the sign, then press enter. Caps matters. After you have typed the code, go to the other side, then look at Foxy to make him go away. Just don't look to the left after you type in the password because he's going to be there. But the directions are reversed, so when I go back, I look to the right. And then there's Foxy there. Um, and also don't run to the other side while the passcode window is displayed because then he'll kill you for okay and then the BOA he enters from the right side of the office go to the other side look at him and wait until he leaves okay okay well I think that's all of the animatronics Actually, no, because there's still one left. Like, if you go to characters. There's still this guy. Also, props to all these guys who created these. Like, Own, Steven Mater, and Super Arthur Bros. Like... They look really creepy, so props to those guys. Um, I'm actually going to stop here, though. Even though I made it to night 7, there is apparently 12 nights in the game. So, again, as I said before, link is in the description. If you want to try this game out, I'm guessing what's going to happen now is it's either going to introduce that last guy and completely mess everything up or it's gonna start mixing and matching like these nine that we see and it's gonna like for the next couple of nights or even like up until night 12 it can just mix and match these guys put them on different difficulties just to make it harder and harder and harder and then you get to night 12 and then maybe it shows this last guy um or he could sneak in like at night 9 or 11 or something um but yeah, this game is good, guys. This game is good. The models look awesome, and it's pretty scary. I don't know how... I think I've just gotten lucky at this point, like, that I haven't gotten jump-scared that much. I guess also if you don't look at the tutorials, um, the game can be kind of like, you're trying to figure it out, and you're like, oh, I don't really know what to do, but... I'd rather know what to do and be challenged on it like around, you know, now when all the characters are active than like struggling at like night three or something and I'm like, I don't know what to do. Um, there's not really that many that are confusing. Like him, I don't know about the window, but for him, if he's in the left, you just go back. Chica appears in the right so when you go back you have to look in the left and then immediately run back because the cupcake is there um foxy i think these two are the same actually like these two work together from what it seems like because like you're supposed to look at foxy but then once foxy is there he like he's the one that gives you the trojan virus so I think these two guys work together. Puppet, you just have to listen for the music box, which isn't that bad. He looks really creepy, though. Am I real? Um, all you have to do is just look at him until he turns into that. The BOA, which I don't know what that can stand for. Box of animatronics? I mean, it's not really in a box, but... I mean, it kind of... Here, it's in a box, but... I don't know. That's the best I can do. Um, uh, all you do for him is you just 
you look to the right, see it's him, look back, run back, and then look to the left because the directions are flipped when you run backwards. Soul Cage, you just look to the right, he jump scares you for a second, and then you look up at him, and uh, Molten Evil slash Shadow Bonnie slash Black Rabbit slash whatever else you want to call him. Uh, when you start seeing those blue squigglies, you just look up. So, I can see how this is going to get very difficult because this is a lot of things to manage. Even though there's technically like eight animatronics because these two are kind of the same from what I can tell. Um, yeah. It's going to be a pain. But, man, this game is good. So, I'm actually going to take a break from this game. I'm going to kind of... Uh, to touch up these videos a little bit so that way it's not like and maybe I'll just leave them unedited for the most part because I like leaving stuff unedited it gives it more of a real feel to it I guess um but uh yeah I'm gonna take a break from this for now maybe later on today or tomorrow or whenever I'll pick it back up um but this is kind of like this is uh this is kind of like practice um, for 50-20 mode, which I will be attempting. Again, um, it is June 15th right now. I've been, I've recorded the past three episodes all in one day. Um, on June 29th, which is in the past for you guys at this point. Um, but the Ultimate Custom Night is out. So, along with all these videos that are being released and everything, there's going to be ultimate custom night videos, uh, challenges and all types of stuff. Probably two challenges a video or something. Um, but yeah, so, and then 50, 20 mode. And this is kind of practice for that. I'm also going to go back and play, um, pop goes and try to play five nights at candies three. Although that challenge is really difficult. Um, is there any others? I didn't finish Pop Goes, I didn't finish Five Nights at Candy's 3. I didn't even start Five Nights at Fuckboy's 3. We're gonna do the Joy of Creation story mode, um, we're gonna do the survival mode in the blind bedroom. And I think that's it as far as like, oh and Jolly 2 got an update a long time ago and um, someone asked me in the comments to try that again. So if any of those videos have come out before this one that's just because I record these like you know way in advance and then I start mixing them up as I uh, release them for you guys on like the Mondays and fr Mondays through Fridays but yeah pretty cool game I uh, I like this a lot <laughs> it's I feel like it's gonna start getting hard though so just because I have, I think I died once in the past six nights, I'm, I'm gonna expect to die a lot more soon. And also, the only real jump scare in this game that I've seen so far is when you look to the right and, uh, Mr. Soul Cage, Mr., uh, whatever the hell that's supposed to be. Um, actually, it's the, uh, four heads from Five Nights at Freddy's 3, which is kind of cool. Um... But he's, like, the only real jump scare, because before, I think he got me before, and the whole screen turned black. Like, I beat the knight, and then he jump scared me later. So if it's like that for all these guys, it's not like Five Nights at Freddy's 2 when you're, like, you know, doing all this other stuff, and then you click the flashlight on expecting to see Foxy, and Foxy jumps at you and scares the crap out of you. Um, but anyways, that's enough rambling from me. Hope you guys enjoyed Dormitibus. Um, I'm going to pick it up again later today, tomorrow. You guys will see more videos of it, guaranteed, because this is a really cool Five Nights at Freddy's fan game. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!